This week, I have this quote. I actually hang it, have it hanging up by my door at my townhouse. We're actually going to go ahead and sell the townhouse that's going to be uh, going up for sale here. We're actually getting photos. And I got it all cleaned out, and uh, we're going to sell it furnished here. And uh, we're going to be listing it in the next week or two after the, the real estate girl uh, gets the photos done. And I got to actually swing back by over there today. But I had a, a quote hanging up over there that I brought back and put by my door by Baby Yoda here in my house that makes me smile. But it's by uh, Winston Churchill. And the quote is, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And uh, I really, really, really love that quote. And I think it goes both ways. And success is not final. That the success that we have in our life uh, at different points, it's great. And that momentum is a, is a real thing. But you, you can't rely on past success uh, necessarily for future success. Um, which is why success is, is not final. It's, an, it's, it's a mindset of continuing to push and be thankful. But it's, it's, but that feed me more. That's what feed me more is, guys, for me, is not losing that hunger no matter what. And it's not saying that you have to keep that hunger at the same level all the time, but it is just constantly keeping that hungry mindset because if you don't, it can allow for you to, to, to go backwards in a very dangerous way. Um, and it, it's a way to keep, it keeps me on track, which is why I like it. But failure is not fatal. Failure, it, 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 you, if you losing or something not going your way, it, it, it's, it's not the end of the world. That's life. And you look at the people that have had the most success in life, and they have oftentimes the most failures. It's just that they just keep going. They keep the feed me more mindset or whatever you want, that 10x mindset or whatever you want to plug in to keep you motivated. It's just, it's a mindset thing and you don't, you don't give in and you don't, you realize that that, that one loss or that one setback isn't, isn't forever if you don't want it to be forever. And, and I've talked about it with Feed Me More Nutrition and things and I've had setbacks along the ways and I've had setbacks on this show and with things and, and talked about it with different people and it's just like you learn from it and you keep, you stay on path, you just keep going, you stay hungry and you figure it out and it's not always gonna go perfect, life isn't always, because I've talked about it, none of us are, are exempt from this. We're all born and we all have our lives and we all eventually die. You don't go through that as a straight line and you don't go through it just happy all the time. You don't go through it sad necessarily all the time. It, it, it's peaks and valleys all along the way and there's different things and it, it's up to us to understand that and to have our mindset at the, at the, at the place that we need it to, to keep pushing forward, to keep going on. And uh, it's, you know, there's just so many past examples. You'll see it with, with uh, we, you hear it with, you know, like they talked about the Buster Douglas thing with, with Mike Tyson and him knocking out Mike Tyson back in the day. And he, if you know that story, it's a phenomenal story of the power of being hungry. And he was hungrier than Mike Tyson during that period. And, but uh, it didn't last. He had that one big success, but that wasn't, it wasn't, that wasn't final. And, but then you saw the, what happened afterwards with all of that. And that's just one example uh, of that. But you see it with like, you get, see people that maybe have one big hit and they, they, they become content with that. And that's okay. There's no, but you have to understand the reason why the, the, usually the downfall afterwards uh, of that is because it, it's a mindset thing. And you, you can't let that one past thing, uh, you just can't hold on to it like that. You got to be grateful for it and you, you understand it. And it's like, you know, and I talk about this with pro wrestling too, guys, to try to really get you to understand this. And I feel the my life, and I've worked and gave everything I had to, to make it in professional wrestling. When I decided to do the podcast and to do Feed Me More Nutrition, any success that I had in pro wrestling, all I could take from that was my mindset. And I knew that taking that mindset and applying it to something different would give me a chance to have success in something else. But if I would have just done that, yo, I'm made in pro wrestling, did everything, blah, 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 made, invented, had championships, I'm blah, 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 I'm just gonna, I could do this, and would have taken kind of that kind of mentality, that approach to it, I would have failed miserably within the first year. Like, and it, you can't, it's, it's 
a mindset thing at the end of the day. And we got to constantly work on our mindsets, guys, and, and realize we're going to have wins along the way and we're going to have losses along the way. There's going to be great days and then there's going to be necessarily, and I don't like to say, there's going to be days that aren't as great. And we just have to recognize that and you keep pushing forward. You don't give in. You don't give up. You don't stop. Whatever it takes, you keep moving forward. Whatever it takes. And that's a Grant Cardone. I have that poster hanging upstairs. Whatever it takes. And I love that. And I also got one right here. I don't know how I'm going to win. I just know I'm not going to lose. And I know that because I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to keep moving forward one way or the other. So that is my thought of the week. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.